Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's see the model question paper solution for module 4 questions in the subject introduction to electronics engineering. Previously, I have uploaded 3 videos on module 1, module 2 and module 3. Let us get into module 4. If you look at the syllabus of module 4, it is on embedded systems. It covers applications of embedded system, block diagram of embedded system and few differences between the architectures and then transducer sensors and actuators. So in the model question paper, they have asked to compare the embedded system with the general computing system and applications of embedded system we need to provide and core of the embedded system is asked and then transducer question we need to explain one sensor and actuator and in the choice question seven segment display is asked to display the data and we need to write a brief note on LED and what is embedded system explain different elements of embedded system that is the block diagram and classification of embedded systems. This is a very easy module you can expect questions like this only you can easily expect questions from the model paper in this module. Coming to first question 7a compare embedded system and general computing systems and also provide the application of embedded system. You can see here I have given the clear differences between these two there are six seven differences here you can write only four differences to get four marks three to four marks and they have also asked to write the applications of embedded system in the question so we need to write the applications of embedded system also like where and all we are going to use the embedded systems like in robotics in gps receivers digital cameras gaming consoles toys like this you can write few things related to the embedded system applications. This carries 5 marks. Write a note on core of the embedded system with its block diagram. You can see here core of the embedded system means only the center block here it is. System core will be consisting of the firmware which is required or software required to operate for the embedded system. So this core can be a microprocessor, it can be microcontroller, it can be digital signal processor or programmable logic device or any application specific integrated circuit also and some commercial off the shelf components. So these are the core of the embedded system. Here the block diagram means you need to write this block diagram only how the core is connected to other parts. And coming to these different types of cores you need to explain about the microprocessor and microcontroller and DSPs little bit of explanation is required here. Since this question is asked for 8 marks, this diagram carries 3 to 4 marks and rest of the thing will be the explanation. So there is more weightage for the explanation here. You need to explain what is the difference between these all the cores. What happens if you put microprocessor or microcontroller and DSP like that. Write an OTAN transducers. Explain one type of sensor and actuator with its operation. Here they ask to write the note on transducer first. Transducer it is a device which converts one form to other form usually a non electrical form to electrical form and electrical form to physical quantity. So that is transducer there are two types here you can explain the type of transducers as loudspeaker and microphone as taken as an example. And also the second part of the question is explain one type of sensor and actuator. Here this microphone will be acting as a sensor. Here loudspeaker will be acting as a actuator. Actuator means which performs some action. Or you can take any other example as temperature sensor and when the temperature reaches some point buzzer can be connected as an actuator. Like that you can explain sensor working and actuator working. This carries 7 marks. And then explain how 7 segment display can be used to display the data and write a brief note on operation of LED. This is a choice question means the eighth question you can write 7 ABC or 8 ABC. Here first we need to write how the display is LED is and then we need to write the two different configurations we can use that LED into a seven segment displays. This is common anode connection this is common cathode connection to display a particular value or the number or the data we need to have the code like this. This is how the display will be. Particularly we will be having this code that LED status we have mentioned here. 
So this is how you need to explain to display the data. They have they have asked to explain how the data will be displayed using this seven segment LED. So we need to write this table and explain this is the code we are supposed to use and the values are like this for LED. Those are going to be displayed as numbers. And then again, the second question in eighth question is what is an embedded system and brief about the different elements of an embedded system. Again, the diagram is same, which, we, which I have shown in the previous question. Here, these are the different components or the elements present in the embedded system. Embedded firmware, memory, system core, output actuator and input side sensor and we have supporting integrated circuits also. So here we need to define the embedded system first. Embedded system is a device which consists of hardware as well as software. We call it as firmware. So that will be an embedded system definition, then the diagram and explain each and every component briefly. Input side sensors, which are all the sensors can be connected and how which are all the outputs we can take as through the actuators, LED, buzzer like that. And firmware, there is a software which is present in the system core through the memory that do particular operation or specific function. So this much you need to explain. The next question is on again embedded system, write a note on classification of embedded systems. There are different ways we can classify embedded systems. So first based on the generation and based on the complexity. Here there are four generations of embedded system we can categorize and depending on the complexity, small scale, medium scale and large scale we can categorize. Again first generation means what, second generation means what, third and fourth generation means what and small scale, medium scale, large scale by giving example and those specifications first generation means it is a small one, fourth generation means it is somewhat complex and also coming to the core of the embedded system varies here 4 bit or 8 bit microprocessor will be used coming to the fourth generation we are going to use DSPs similarly here in large scale embedded system we use DSPs or FPGA like that in small scale embedded system we use less bit microprocessor or controller likewise you can explain these generations by giving some examples also this completes the eighth question this is how you can get questions in the embedded system chapter easily you can predict the core of the embedded system or the block diagram of the embedded system some differences between microprocessor or microcontroller risk and sysc and then general purpose system and embedded system and applications and some transducers and sen sensors this is about the embedded system chapter these are the playlists you can visit and read more content on embedded system thank you in the next video let's see module 5 questions in the model paper